Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of mine. Drift here. Hope you're all well today. Um, got a few updates with Blood Hunt. Um, there is a some big changes coming to the game. A lot of updates, a lot of fixing um, all the issues that we've all been complaining about. It looks like it might be resolved. The only problem with all of that, it's going to take about a month to be fixed. Um, all of these changes, they're trying to do it all at once and make sure that they um, they don't go overboard. Like I said in the previous video, if you uh, if you watch that, I said about the um, the bugs. They don't want to fix everything and rush it because if they do that, then they'll uh, create this massive issue with creating more bugs, which leads to more fixing, and it just becomes a massive nightmare. Now, my biggest issue with the fact that it's going to be taking a month to be fixed. We all get it that bugs and things like this take time, but things such as the reload bug and the loot bug, which are game breaking bugs, this should be fixed in an instant, like almost in a day release. If you if you look at um, the fact that Fortnite and other games take their game really seriously, and I, I, I'm not doubting the developers of Blood Hunt take their game seriously because I, I know they do as well. But the fact is, is these issues should be fixed within a few days at least, or even before releasing your game as a full release. I, um, I understand this game's not a beta, it is a full release, so um, if I am wrong with that, let me know. But I'm quite sure this is a full release game, and the fact that simple things as that is you can't reload, and it will reload three or four times before you can get a shot off on some, some fights, which ruin your game, get you killed make you frustrated at the game make you want to click off you know all of that horrible stuff it, this these things should be almost done like right now because we're getting it every single day every game it's ruining a lot of my games there's probably a lot of games i could have won or even um yeah been in the last circle and i'm ended up reloading instead of shooting a player and it is it is just annoying because you have to either get out of the situation or you just find yourself ending up dead now, Blood Hunt released a tweet saying they are investigating an ongoing outage with the Blood Hunt friend system. Uh, and then they also said that they resolved the system of uh, friends list. But when I'm playing on PlayStation 5, I can't actually add any of my PC friends. I've tried with multiple different people and none of their names come up on the uh, Shark Mob uh... system. So their usernames aren't coming up at, at all. And I literally can't play with any of my PC friends, which is really annoying uh, for the cross platforms. There's also uh, been the big update that I was just on about. Um, I want to go over the balance changes that they're uh, talking about uh, fixing in about a month's time. They're talking about the blood hunt timer decrease. So when you eat a human near another human and they spot you or you shoot a human, and you get spotted yeah, with the blood so hunt wrong. timer. It's oh, about 60 seconds. Um, uh, you have t all that time to be hunted by the whole entire lobby. And sometimes this can be good. And a lot of the times it can be bad because of the fact that if you're in a hot spot area, everybody can see you with legal wall hack. So everybody knows where you are at all times. And it can get really frustrating because if you need that healing off, or if you're getting focus fired by three or four different people, then a lot of these players aren't actually using their brain cells, which is the most frustrating thing for me. Because half the time, these players get themselves killed because they're so greedy for that red flashing player that they can see through a million walls that they're trying so hard to get one kill when they could be shooting the guy next to them that actually starts shooting them instead. But they're so hungry and thirsty for that one kill that it's an absolute joke that they they just lose brain cells along the way. And also I do too. And uh, so I'm glad about that. Um, I wonder if with the perk, um, to get two extra perks when you uh, eat a player or uh, when you spawn with it, um, with, with um, my Prowler character, I'm wondering if the counter for 120 seconds is going to decrease also. I hope so, because 120 seconds is an absolute joke of a count. Like, you are spotted forever, and and no one is stopping until you're dead. So, it has worked out a few times, but that needs to be completely decreased to at least lower than 80 seconds, I'd say. Um, or even 60 uh, as a normal, because you can't even use that perk and and i want to get my heals quickly as possible so i want to get the pink perk 
um, straight away and I can't really do that when I'm spotted for 120 seconds because I've shot one bullet on a, on a human and now everybody's coming after me. So hopefully that is good. Uh, the Flesh of Marble is a massive thing. I think this character for the Enforcer is an absolute joke. I actually think that it shouldn't be in the game personally. Um, a lot of people probably like it, so you might uh, disagree, or even if you don't um, use it, you probably disagree. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But the Flesh of Marble is legal go uh, god mode. Like you, you, uh, the amount of times I've had a guy one shot and I can't shoot him anymore, and he's literally one bullet away from dying. He heal. You can heal up with that with Flesh of Marble on, which I don't understand how you can syringe while be doing that. Um, things like this shouldn't be allowed like if you if you use that that flesh of marble should be able for you to get away not heal up and do all that sort of stuff because i if i'm using the prowler and i go invisible i can't heal up the only thing i can do is get away from the scenario so that should be the same sort of thing you know you should have a balance there with two things so hopefully that um with the additional balance adjustments that they're doing with uh, what they mentioned Hopefully that is um, going to do. Also, the slow motion um, ability with with being near a player. This this thing I don't understand either as well because if you've got a melee and they, and I'll go into the melee um, balancing as well. But if you've got a player who can stand next to you and slow you down, why is that allowed also um, with the melee? Because if you've got a two hit melee, then the player is just going to get killed and you can't get away. So you basically can't shoot a player. Because if you try to shoot them, then they're just going to get near you with the melee. So you have to literally be as far away as possible. And some of the circumstances with these type of fights, you can't actually fight a player with the melee weapon or shotgun. Because you're you're stuck in that scenario. And also, the cer if you're in the last circle as well, or a place where there's just not a lot of movement, that means you can't get out of there. So you're forced to almost fight at times. Uh, then, then escape because you're one shot or, or what's going on with that. So, um, yeah, I, I don't understand why that's in the game. So they're increasing the revive time. Um, I'm not sure about that. I actually like the time of uh, the 20 seconds on solo, so I'm not sure what they're going to do with that. If they if they make the time increase even more, it means that you're not even get up in the end unless you get really lucky because they're basically just going to finish you now rather than give you that chance. I actually like it. I've seen a few people complain about this because people are griefing by waiting for you to get up and then they're going to get that extra kill. But actually, if you like with the Prowler perk, I can go invisible and get away. So I like this. Uh, it gives me a chance rather than... Uh, and also, uh, you can get a, a few extra kills when you do it. I don't mind it. I, I don't see the issue with this. Uh, I don't like the idea of the time of being increased, Percy. But you can let me know what you think in the comments. And also with the shotguns and the melee uh, balancing, I hopefully that they are going to uh, make this a lot better and a lot more balanced. Because I don't think it should be removed altogether, but it should be balanced to a degree where everybody can use a bit of everything in a fight. There's a few more things like aim assist being buffed, and I don't understand why that's happening either, because I like the aim on this game. I feel like you uh, you need to have that bit more free aim rather than just being able to stick aimbot people. So they're doing that to compete with PC players. And yeah, not really for me as a console player, but um, we'll see how they do with that. I might make some videos on uh, separate topics because there's so much to talk about with every individual thing. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments with all these changes and big things to come. And I'll see you next time. Laters.
Die, please. Oh, come on! Oh, I was trying to get rid of the fucking NPC. Oh, this would be such a nice 20 bomb. 